<clears throat> so cool. Yeah, neat. <clears throat> I love it. You know, watching this now, and again, this not again, but this might be one of those, like, why did you tell me before? It always looked cool. Now, after all this time watching this, I feel like this move here, we could speed up his entrance. It just feels... You want to feel like a, a jolt and attack is coming, and right now it's almost too soft. What do you think? My impression right now is that you got to make that twice as fast. I don't think you slow this down. Maybe just, we're just too used to it. But I feel like you see this guy and go, holy shit. And then you want to speed it up. And even potentially this guy. Where you might end up having, you know, visually in space, it would be down here. You know, so it just goes a bit further so you can... You don't have to change the animation, just jumps further so it speeds everything up. That's all cool. I think for this, the current transition, what I would do is, if this is your highest point, I would start the shot here with the head higher. I know this is not quite hooking up with what we did, but you know the angle is different, it doesn't really matter. I'm only reacting to that move up here and then this is a uh, a really big move up. It feels like it pops. Just a tad. So watch the dinosaur again. Yeah, maybe not. The more I watch it, the more I get used to it. But the very, very first impression was that um, he does a turn, and it's a fairly flat curve. And then here, it feels like if you continue that flat curve into this, and now it feels like you're doing this. Again, this might just be me having a weird day. <laughs> But it's kind of interesting to see everything again. You know, sometimes you need that. You need to go back and see it all again. I'm just telling you my, my first impressions of seeing this after a while. It feels like the, uh, his tail at the end could have a nicer shape so it's not so flat. Right, so we can see more of a roundness to it. Either like that or like that. I will keep this foot on the ground if possible, maybe you're too far away, or speed this guy up so it's a bit higher. There's something about both of them at the ends that feel floaty, especially here, just kind of come both off the ground. You might potentially have to cheat this guy and do a little sidestep at the beginning. So at this point, I think you can probably still bring it down and flatten it. Try if you can. Keep this guy flat so he always stays planted and only this guy moves. But they just feel too loose at the end there. Whoop. I think I like this here, I like to readjust, but you can go higher and then that f and therefore you can go faster down because you know you need to travel more distance. But it just needs to be more ferocious, it feels still too timid. Even through here, you want to feel that arr, 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 really left and right. And then same thing for him where because he's doing up and then arr, the last bite for this, you know, at this point the head will have gotten a bit lower. And then as he bites, arr, he goes back up into something where he might be even higher. If that makes sense, right? So he's... He's going, like yell here, goes down, and then he does. Hold on, go this here. Yeah, like during that last bite, you want to feel the, the, the dinosaur going, ah, fuck. And because of that, he does the turn. Rest is cool. Yeah, steps are neat. Yeah, it's just something in the, in the face then, like in the cat bite ah and this guy really like i said it would be lower and then bites and goes up fuck you turns into that press is cool I'm looking at the dinosaur here yeah that's cool
Yeah, it's really neat. I like what the dinosaurs are doing. Really cool stuff. Yeah, cool change in the tail. Get side to side on the head here. Yeah, that's cool. And then the cat. Yeah, the only thing is that I like what you're doing here. The cool swipe too. The only thing is that once you hit this part, it rolls over and it feels like you're getting into this rotation and then you're locking it. I noticed the tricky thing was you don't want to keep it rotating, right? Forever. But there's something about this moment that pops. And it's also this here, how the head is this, and then pops down. And it goes down over two frames here. Just like that moment just feels too pop too quick. And you could potentially have... During this moment, that paw could go up and then down again for a readjust grab. So it's not just so slidey. So you add just a bit more complexity to that. And then same thing with the back guy. So once you're done here, one of these guys, I would say this guy has a little bit of a step. Just a little bit, because I like the posing and it could just be a, like a little step. It just feels something where the feet are just all too clean, too slidey. And it feels like his momentum really stops through here. So for the back feet to slide also feels weird. So maybe at the end, you can incorporate the steps into that part. I don't quite get physics wise how they slide at the end that feels a bit more like a voluntary move so steps into that I like that little shake there but I would take that sideways out this feels a bit too animated where you really want to have a sideways curve and anticipation I think you can make it a bit more direct and then there's something where you're up and then you move forward fairly fast but then through here it feels slower this might just be me but it feels like you're going you're anticipating then you go fast slow down and then go and you really want to make sure that you're anticipating and out so that there is no you know no slowdown in between here yeah it feels like he's doing and then okay I'm getting ready now I'm jumping as opposed to jump out of that roar. Yeah. And then that. Super cool. Alright. There's an email. You can sign up. You can start whenever you want. You can submit whenever you want. You get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. Alright. Thank you.